In today's video, I'm going to be playing some Chandra. The event uh, is like another three hours, I think, left. So I figured I might as well just do it one last time. It is uh, Tuesday. Or excuse me, it's Monday, actually. Um, so I have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday left after today to make uh, videos before the patch comes, which I'm super excited about. Um, I am playing this... Uh, Ember spawn Crags land because I think it's very good in the event. Just getting two free attackers when you're trying to spawn Gideon seems pretty strong. I added another one drop because I'm trying to spam the board and a one drop that has the potential to become a 4-3 felt pretty good. Uh, Chandler, I don't have anything that's big enough in this list. I am running the Lava Axe because um, between Chandra's ability, Lava Axe, and Gideon coming out, I feel like I could burst them down uh, pretty easily for damage. The rest of this list looks a lot like my uh, Gruul Chandra list that I used to uh, aggressively ladder at the beginning of Seasons. Um, so we just have the Raging Goblin, uh, Pouncing Lemur, doesn't matter, can't block, we're just trying to beat face. Uh, Sword Cannon Air makes it to where you trade favorably. Uh, Goblin Short Cutter, if they go tall on a turn, they just um, basically lose. Um, you just mess up their blocker math, right? And then uh, Colonial Tusker, 2 drop 4-3, just a stat stick, hard to get rid of, it'll persist, which is what we want when we're trying to continue the attack. Ball Lightning will be a uh, haste creature out of nowhere that they're not expecting, and this with Gideon is just... Uh, you know, uh, 10 attack points out of nowhere. And the fact that it is trample is very nasty. Uh, Blitzing Minotaur, 3 drop 3 3 with haste. I think that's very self explanatory. Chandra's Firecrafter, 3 drop 3 3. Add a random spell or trap that deals damage to your hand. So if it's shock, if it's lava axe, uh, anything like that, you can get in the last bit of damage. Flame shot. Deal three damage to an enemy and one damage to each other enemy. This is going to be really good for this event, I suspect, because I'll be able to uh, wipe their boards if they're trying to go wide. When you go wide, they tend not to have a lot of stats. You can set up boards uh, to where this is really effective after you block as well. Another haster we have here, uh, Zozu, four drop, zero, four attack. It's plus one, zero for each of your opponent's mana gems. And then the Goblin Field Rusher is something I don't normally run in my lists, but since we're trying to put bodies on the board for Gideon, seemed like the perfect fit. Makes the uh, Raging Goblin, they both have haste, seems seems ex like exactly what we want, right? Uh, four drop, four five, Vicious Mongrel has haste. This is kind of like um, Tusker in the sense that it'll stay around for a little while, get multiple attacks in. And then finally we have the Hell Rider, five drop, four three with haste. Attack, deal one damage to your opponent for each attacker. Seems pretty good uh, with Gideon, seems pretty good with our land, and seems pretty good in our strategy of just trying to go very wide. So let's see what happens. Alright, so I was in the queue for three or four minutes and finally got another Chandra, um, you know, which isn't what I wanted, you know, I don't like mirror matches, especially at the very beginning of the video, but we all know this happens a lot, because I point it out every time it happens, but, um, you know, we'll see. We have a better land, so that's helpful. Um, let's actually get one in, you know, some one drops in here, considering, you know, we're going second, right? This is exactly what I want. Now, if they don't have a turn one play, we are in fantastic shape. Okay. Well, not that lucky, but, you know. Okay, so... The lemur can actually trade up. They should block, unless they have a removal spell for this. Run. Yeah. Alright. I think we do just go ahead and play the lemur. And I'm choosing the lemur again because it can trade up with the three attack strength, right? Okay, wouldn't matter in this instance, but we didn't know that. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it can't block, so if these trade, that's fine. And we're going to play this and then, you know, maybe even give it a buff here. Oh, I didn't change this to premium when I made the new deck. So sad. Okay, this is fine. I'm not gonna buff it. I'm actually just gonna put the stats on it and play this, probably. All right, X N A on all that. Oh no no no, because um, I still can't swing anyway. So 
We're gonna do this. And we're gonna do this. Seems good. He can either take eight or he can lose his attacker, which means his Gideon is never gonna go off. I would love it if you took. Okay. So he's gonna take five instead. Is this turn five? This has a chance? Okay. If I don't top deck something to play, I can just play this and then pass and I'll have a 4-3, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Curious to see what they have now. Ooh, shock. Okay. I think shock's kind of underwhelming for an event like this because, you know, people are just going to have a ton of creatures trying to proc Gideon and it's not uh, points you're, you know, putting on the board. But... Uh, that's super strange. Um, let's attack. Let's just play this and pass. And hopefully they don't have some kind of weird trap. They didn't, so I don't know what's going on. I don't think I've ever actually flipped this thing. Was it not premium on the other side? And But it's not premium on this side? This is so dumb. I really hope it wasn't premium on the other side, but I thought it was. And then if this goes off, then we're Gideon. We're gonna, you know, Gideon's gonna come out. If it doesn't go off, um, Gideon's gonna come out this way. So either way, unless they remove something, Gideon's gonna happen. Yeah, and this is obviously a super budget deck. Okay, I'm gonna be mana efficient, even though I don't want to give up my Hell Rider. Because it just puts them in such uh, danger from flame shot in the future. So this is what we're doing. Okay, and the Gideon came out after, so the Hell Rider doesn't work. Uh, for counting towards Gideon, I mean. Okay, that's still a one for one. Oh, it's still zero. Okay. Well, all right then. Again, just a just a budget de deck we went up against. Um, you know, I guess we'll take it, right? All right, so we're going up against the Kiora. I tried to uh, lower the mic a little bit away from me, and I'm gonna try not to touch the the arm that my mic's on because it keeps getting like the smallest taps. It like amplifies really big, so I'm just gonna put my other hand in my lap and see if that uh, fixes the problem. I apologize for that game one. Uh, I'm just gonna keep the Tusker just because it's a stat stick. I'm hoping they don't play Crab early to stop it, but they very well may. Cure is a very interesting deck choice for this. Hopefully I didn't accidentally click on regular ladder again, but if I did, you guys just get a bonus game, so woohoo. Um, apparently they don't know what they want to put back. And she's in the lead. Hello, little yeah, before they can do anything, they're taking six unless they block with the fish, which I'd be super fine with. I guess this counts as like one of their, you know, could count as an attacker for Gideon, which is kind of cool. There's no way they're going to block though. At least they shouldn't, because they can get a lot more value out of that fish. Yeah. Huh. Wasn't expecting a pass. Already at 16, that's kind of wild. Um, now if they go tall, I'm just going to shortcut her and smack them, and they're probably going to have to get rid of their fish. Okay, that's not going tall, but I will still shortcut her that, though. Just to keep this alive another turn and get some more damage in. Wow, I'm really surprised I took all of that again this time. So they're basically at 5 because I have Lava Axe, and that's why I'm running the Lava Axe in this deck. And I always have in my Gruul Chandra list. I think Lava Axe is super, super, super underrated as a card. Um, I think a lot of aggressive red decks should run Lava Axe. I fear no beast. 
All right, so now we're just going to do this, and we're going to attack with everything just to proc the Gideon and get that, try and get the last bits of damage here. Yeah, I would love to take. I would love. I love seeing his cards disappear. Okay, he well, he just scooped, I guess. All right, so uh, super weird. Um, don't know why he wouldn't block, but um, unless they healed next turn, even if they even if they blocked, um, lava axe just takes it, and um, you know they'd have to go super wide to just avoid getting in the rest of the game. So just another super easy one. I'm not sure what's going on, but you know I can't do anything about it. All right, so I waited a very well, maybe not a very long time. Maybe just like two or three minutes again. Just. Significant wait time just to have another mirror match. Maybe this game won't take like three seconds. Another um, person was just the basic land. It's. I was thinking about it, and um, so in other events, right? When you win, um, let's say it'll be like first to win three or first to to lose one. So I'm not like getting progressively harder opponents. That might be one of the reasons why, because it's just it's just like a best of one event. Like you either win or you don't, and it's over. My hand is super weird. Um, might actually lose this one because this hand is funky. You know, or not because they're just not doing anything either. Next turn, Gideon's going to come out unless they just take time to shock this, which I highly doubt. My whole board would lose to Flame Shot, though. Okay, I'm fine with this because then I can follow up with a Flame Shot and kill this after it blocks. And they're, they're already almost dead, so. For all the um, people new to the game um, watching this, these are the type of events that you need to, to play. I mean, really just play all the events you think you even have a remotely decent chance of uh, succeeding at and just get those free materials. At least at least play the first event that's free, right? I think every event they've ever posted the first time is free. And don't just run into it. See if you can see if I've posted a video um, showing what I've run if you don't if you have no idea what to play, right? Um, yeah, we're not blocking that. I don't think they died if I flame shot, so... Because even if they don't do anything, they're at one, right? Now they have to block and give up their board. Or they die, and then they're dead to like everything in my hand next turn. So another super fast game. I might have to do like four or five games this video. This land hasn't gone off one time, but that's mostly because my games aren't even lasting that long. And I'm expecting a scoop. Okay. I knew as soon as I said that when the game was 100% won, that was gonna happen. Um, just in case there's something really crazy. Okay. Well, I got to put them on the board, right? All right. I guess I'm gonna play another one. That was another like three minute game. Wow, that was it was like almost instant this time. So um, maybe this is the game I finally lose. Um, whenever I played Chandra, the very first season of the game, where I Welcome. I got to Mythic with Chandra, um, a Johnny was the worst matchup because they just their their cards are so thick. I actually kind of want to keep this. Actually, I kind of want to keep the whole thing. I'm gonna put back the Zozu. It's a little too expensive. Especially if I play this on turn two. I keep forgetting to switch this to premium. Hmm. If they don't play anything, I might just 
jam this out because then on um, turn two I can actually play this. Yeah. I think it's worth it to get the damage in. Also, a Johnny has really high HP. Which is, you know, not good for Chandra. Oh. I didn't realize OBS was going crazy. Not well, I'll figure it out after this game. Hmm. All right, I tried to see if that worked. Seems like it did. I don't think it's jerking me around anymore, which is good. I think that damage was worth, and then next turn Gideon's gonna come out. And then um, if only one thing dies, then Mongrel comes out following that, so seems pretty strong. Um, yeah. I'm doing this because um, I want to lower the amount of creatures he has as well for his own Gideon procs. It might have been correct to not, though. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of sad I did it now. I think I just helped him out a bit. Yeah, I shouldn't have blocked there. This is an unusual card for a Johnny to run, though. Please concede. Yeah, and now if he wants to take the favorable in the 2 1, he's taking 7 damage. So I don't know, this might be fine. Okay, so it ended up being okay. Now what do they have? Maybe Stag? Stag would suck. Stag would suck a lot, actually. Don't care about that. He can't even swing. It's my turn, buddy. Unless you want to feed this to me. Preach. Uh, this is even better. And I can summon two more attackers next turn, which will proc Gideon once more. This card's been a real, uh, real strong in this event. Yeah. Yeah, so we're already in Lava Axe range, which again, that's why I run the card. So nasty. Um... If this procs, I can play, I, you know, I would be able to play four attackers if my board wasn't already had two things on it. So three more things. He could go really wide, though. I have your back. That is not, uh, that's not it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, if he doesn't play another body. <laughs> I didn't need it, but I s <laughs> that's, that is funny, though. Alright, so... Do, do, do. And another super easy win. Uh, this is like... This might be more brainless than Jace Mill, which is saying something. Yep. Well, I've got a decent amount of gold just in this video alone, right? Alright guys, I think that'll do it for today's video. Um, if you're new to the game and you want to play this event, well, I guess it'll, it'll probably be over by the time this comes out, but um, even if I don't post a uh, video for an event because usually I don't do that until I'm in Mythic or you know the metas, there's something wrong with the meta. Um, just put me a comment and ask me what I would run in the event and I'll at least I'll respond to you in the comments if I don't have a video up on it already because I want the new players to get as much material as they can 
also if you're not subscribed please do that would be great and um finally uh my videos get hundreds of views but like lately i've been having like around like 10 likes and that's like the number one metric youtube uses to um i guess like promote the videos so if you wouldn't mind giving a like i'd really appreciate it trying to hit that 1000 i think i'm at 861 at time of this recording but thank you guys for watching and i will see you tomorrow